Hi, I recently bought the Sharks portable Bluetooth boombox speaker from the 60 bucks and uh, Amazon.com. I had great reviews on uh, uh, YouTube and Amazon and other sites as one of the most best affordable Bluetooth speakers. So I decided to buy one and see what all the hype was about. So before I go open the box and, and start testing it, I'm just going to show you all the features it has. It has Bluetooth technology, of course, convenient and speed with the latest 4.0. With 4.0 uh, Bluetooth technology is offering now is much longer battery life on your cell phone and uh, the Bluetooth connection, so it doesn't eat your blue. Uh, doesn't the Bluetooth doesn't eat your uh, battery life really quickly then you have long lasting uh, lithium battery it has over about it claims about 10 hours I haven't tried it out yet since I'm unboxing it and testing it at the same time superior sound quality with crystal clear uh, uh, vocals as well as uh, the tones built-in hand-free microphone so you can connect to uh, Siri Bluetooth uh, has free a convenient auto input uh, or input port for your non Bluetooth device devices 3.5 headphone jacks in case you just want to use the headphones super bass output which is a must these days when you uh, playing music that has a lot of bass in it and then it says fast micro USB uh, connectivity so I'm gonna open up the box now show you what's in it what came with it manual standard manual a standard usb micro usb charging cable 3.5 millimeter uh, jack so you can connect to your non bluetooth devices or if you don't like bluetooth and just want to use the jacks that's good um the wall mount which is always handy i really like that 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 really sold me on that feature because i love that um then we have the carrying case with its logo on it. I'll show you that really quickly. See? Sharks boombox speaker. Okay. And now we're going to take this out now. It's pretty heavy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's pretty heavy. Uh, it has NSC and Siri Bluetooth 4.0 speaker. NSC, you know, you know uh, for connecting quickly. Uh, it also has Siri capabilities, so you can talk to Siri directly through the speaker. It's just nice and dandy. Okay, I'm going to turn it around and show you all the specs that are underneath here. And then let's see if you get it. There you go. Bluetooth 4.0. The charging watch is 5 volts. Out, output power to 5 watt speakers. Then you have your frequency. Then you have your uh, battery capacity and so on. Underneath here has these rubberized footings, so when this Bluetooth starts going, when it's beat, it's not moving around. So in the top part, we have an M button, which usually is basically for switching from Bluetooth to non-Bluetooth devices. And then you have your backward buttons and your forward buttons if you want to skip a, uh, a, uh, a track or things like that. Then you have your... Uh, Pause and play, then you have your volume control. This is uh, to inc decrease, increase, and then you have the button for your phone, f uh, phone functions. Then you have the built in microphone here. Okay, let's turn this around. Here's where you get the power. Uh, here's where you jack in your headset, so your uh, headphones. Here is where you connect for your non Bluetooth devices, and this is your charging port here. So let's go quickly and turn this on. All you really got to do is just hold it for a few seconds and see that the light goes on. And it's also going to give you a verbal notification. Now it's, now it's on. Okay, so now I'm going to turn on my Bluetooth. Connected. It's already connected because I did the Bluetooth thing already with this. Um, but all you really got to do is look for sh Sharks Boom and just connect it. 
Okay, so now we're going to test it out. I have this on full volume. And the songs are going to be about 75 to 80. This is uh, this blows me away. Uh, how it sounds, how you can hear the bass pumping, and it's coming crystal clear. It's 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 not failing in what's supposed to. I mean, it's a good sound quality speaker. I truly recommend it. Look for my future episode where I'm going to compare. Uh, I'm going to do a, a test comparison between the Shark and the JBL Charge. Until then. See you soon. Bye.